hello guys i welcome you back to jn graphic tutorials so in this session of tutorial we are going to design a birthday flyer so before we begin with this session of tutorials i just want you to subscribe to jn graphics for more amazing graphic design content such as this so let's get on and start with creating our beautiful birthday flyer so first of all we will start by creating our new file so i just want to click on the new file so let's give it a title as um birthday like this then i just want us to set the width to 1080 then we will also leave the height to 1080 like this then we are going to leave the resolution to be 300 then we make sure that the color mode is rgb color because it is going to be a social media flyer then let's go on and hit on create so this is the background that we are going to work on for our today's session of tutorial before i begin with anything i just want to go to the view and go to our guides and go to our new guide layout so i just want to apply this guideline so that anything that i do i'll know that they are in the correct alignment so you can just copy the alignment settings here so that you can apply it to your graphic design that you just want to do so i will just go on and hit on ok so after i'm done with this we are going to start everything anew so first of all i just want to import my background first so i'll go to my file and go to my place link and go to where my files are so these are the files that i'm actually going to use for our birthday flyer so I just want to import our background first so i'll make sure that it is the entire background like this very nice and amazing then after i'm done with this i'll make sure that i go to my filter and go to my blur and go to my gaussian blur so i will just move the radius until i see that it is totally blurred like this then i'll go and hit on okay so this is what actually i just want to do so after i'm done with this i'll select this background here and go to my option then i'll go to my hue so at this place i just want to set the hue to 36 like this then i will also set the um, saturation to minus 45 like this so this is what actually i just want to do then i'm done with my background so after i'm done with this i will go on to my file and go to my place link so this time i just want to bring this flare inside so i'll make sure that it takes the entire background like this very nice and amazing so with this flare i just want to change it to screen so let's change it to screen like this until we get something like this very nice and amazing so with this i can select my brush so that i will just clean um the parts the sharper part of this um, flare something like this very nice and very amazing so i can still go on and expand um, it like this so this is what actually i just want to do so i can just go and push it forth a little bit like this very nice and very amazing so after i'm done with this i will also go on and bring um something like this also into it something like flying ribbons into the design to make it more amazing and beautiful but i just want us to select the ribbons then go to our option here and go to our heel so we'll go to here again and this time i just want us to click on this one so that the hue that we are going to create will be only on the ribbons so we we'll go to our hue here then we type 51 like this then we we'll go to our saturation then we type um, 46 like this then we will go to our colorize so this is what actually i just want to do then we will make sure that we push the lightness to about eight something like this very nice and very very amazing so we are going to type plus um 51 here 
so we're just going to type 51 here then we will also type the saturation to be 46 then we are going to leave the lightness to be 8 something like this then we make sure that we click on the colorize so that's what we are going to have so let's go back to our layers and this is what we are actually going to have so i just want us to blur the ribbons so we will select the ribbons here and go to our um, filter go to our blur and go to our gaussian blur so i just want us to blur it to an extent like this very nice and amazing i think something like this is cool so we can go on and open it up a little bit like this so i think this is this one is very cool and amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and import our images so let's go on and import our images here so let's go to place link so i just want to bring our first image inside something like this very nice and very very amazing so you can just uh, push it to however that you just want to push it very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can also go on and bring other um, images also inside so let's go on and bring this image also in so let's push these images under the first image that we just brought inside so we can just resize this one a little bit like this until we get something very nice and amazing like this and let's go on and bring our last image so i just want to also bring this image inside so with this image let's push it also under this one like this and we are going to reduce the size a little bit like this very nice and very very amazing so this is what i just want us to do very nice and very amazing so we can just push this one also a little bit in like this very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this we are going to create a gradient so i just want us to set the four color or the foreground color to 1c 1b 0 e this is the color that we are going to use for our gradient so let's click on ok so i'll just go to this option and go to and create my gradient like this so let's go to the gradient bar and push the white a little bit like this until we get something like this very nice and amazing so we will push it to a location of 60 this is the location so let me push it a little bit forward so i think the location of 56 is actually cool so let's go on and hit on okay then okay so this is what we are actually having now very nice and amazing so now we can go on and also bring on um, another flare and add it to it so let's bring our last flare inside so i just want us to change it to something like screen so let's change it to screen very nice and very amazing so we can just push it here or depending on where you just want to push it but i think something like this is actually cool and amazing so we will just go on and take our brush and just clean the sharp parts or the edges of the flare so that it will just blend with our background very nice and amazing so this is what i actually want us to do very nice and very beautiful so after we are done with this we are going to give a test to what we have just done so let's go on and give a test so i just want us to type something like happy like this but let's make sure that it is a white font then let's put it on top of the flare like this so and also let's make sure that um, the height of the test is 111 and the image size or 
uh, the, the the size of the image is also about 36 or 35 very good and very nice so we will set the size to 36 very nice and amazing so let's put or let's bring it down here so control plus j we just want to duplicate the text here and this one we are going to select it and type birthday something like this very nice and amazing so we can just tilt this one a little bit like this the birthday a little bit like this very nice and very beautifully so after we are done with this i just want us to go and pick a rectangular box so let's draw a rectangular box like this and let's make sure that it is a white color so i just want us to pick a rectangular box like this then let's go and take our polygonal lasso tool and i just want us to draw something like this on it by holding on it i just want us to draw something like this very nice and amazing so after we are done with this we will go to the layers and just create a mask for it so this is what i just want to do very nice and amazing so we can just resize it a little bit like this and just bring it down here or we can go on and hold control then we will just squeeze it so that it will become too flattening something like this depending on how you like it so we can go on and also expand it very nice and very amazing so this is what i actually want us to create very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this i just want us to add the wishes of the uh, the, the person that we are wishing so i just want us to add a washing test to it so to do that let's select our test to here and this time we are going to use a roboto font and let's go to our test panel and reduce the test height to 77 and let's reduce the test also to 6 something like this very nice and amazing and also let's close up vertical spaces to about um six let's check i think six is very nice and amazing so this is what we actually want to do this is what i actually want to do so this is the version test of the flyer so i just want it to be a random test so in case you want to do this birthday uh, a similar birthday flyer for a client or somebody you can just add the um, the washing test onto the top there very nice and amazing but because this is a tutorial i just want it to be around so this is not actually the washing test but it is because of the tutorial i just want to demonstrate something so this is what i just want to do very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this i just want to add the name of the celebrant to make it nice and amazing so let's go on and write something like um mommy sarah something like this but we will select it and change the font to um dhu4 so this the font that i will use to write the celebrant's name dhu4 then i will just expand the name to about 14 i think 14 is actually cool and nice for me very nice and amazing so we will just bring it at the top here very nice and very beautiful so it has left with our last thing to do So I just want us to also add um, plus one also to it to make it more beautiful and amazing. So to do that, I just want to change the font to adventure and let's type something like plus one. So something like this plus one. 
very nice and amazing so let's give it a space of about eight something like this very nice and amazing and also let's make sure that we space up the one so that it will be clear enough so let me make it um, five minus five something like this then we, we we can just place it here very nice and very amazing so this is what i just want us to do for today's session of flyer designing so if you find this very interesting and amazing i just want you to like comment and not forgetting to subscribe to this amazing channel and also share it to people who might be interested in graphic design so i just want to say thank you for your time and we are going to meet in another session of tutorial bye bye